Hello teacher, hello students, welcome to today's lesson. Students, in our last lesson, we have discussed different types of markets. The different types of markets include consumer markets, industrial markets, producer markets, reseller markets, government markets, and institutional markets. In today's lesson, we're going to discuss the major functions of marketing. Marketing function is the process of determining the needs and wants of consumers and being able to deliver products that satisfy those needs and wants. The functional scope of marketing is very wide. Various activities need to be performed in the process of transferring goods and services from producers to consumers. These functions are broadly classified into exchange function, physical distribution function, and facilitating functions. Students, first let us discuss exchange functions. Exchange functions of marketing is the activity of exchanging, buying, and selling of goods and services in a way that ownership of goods and services are transferred from producer to customer. Students, look at the video. This is a market, a place where buyers meet the seller to exchange goods and services. Here, for example, the ownership of the necklace is transferred from the seller to the buyer. Exchange function is classified into two parts. These are buying and selling. Buying is the process of acquiring the ownership of property by giving an accepted price. Producers buy raw materials or semi-finished products to make finished goods. Intermediaries buy goods for resale. On the other hand, ultimate consumers buy goods from producers direct or from intermediaries. Raw materials are materials or natural resources that can be used in the primary production of manufacturing of goods. Semi-finished products are products that are not quite complete and require further processing to produce a finished product. Finished products are products that are completely manufactured and ready for sale and delivery to the marketplace. Students, let us see the other part of exchange function, that is selling. Selling is the process of transferring the ownership of a product from seller to consumer. As the main objectives, every business firm is designed to earn profit from selling goods and services. 
there is no meaning of business and other marketing functions without selling. Consumers get necessary goods and services through the selling and buying processes and hence their needs are satisfied. Look at the video. This is a market, a place where the consumers go to meet their needs by necessary goods and services. Students, let us see the second major marketing function. That is the physical distribution function. Physical distribution function involves the flow of goods from producers to customers. Physical distribution function includes transportation and storage of goods. Until the goods have been sold, they should be kept in safe places. After they've been sold, they have to be transported from one place to another. Students, let us see these different types of physical distribution one by one. First, transportation. Transportation is the means of delivery of goods from one place to another. Transporting involves selecting a mode of transport that provides an acceptable delivery schedule at an acceptable price. Transportation and marketing function becomes necessary because the goods produced at one place should be carried hundreds and thousands of kilometers away for selling by means of transportation like road transportation, air transportation, railroad transportation, water transportation, and pipeline transportation. Transportation is very important means of expanding markets, seeking opportunity of new markets. It also plays significant role in increasing and decreasing the price of goods. Students, now it is time for an individual activity. Get ready for the first exercise. How much is the price of this sub? Nine Nine Oh, it is expensive. It was eight bur recently. Why did the price increase? The fuel cost has increased. Students, based on the above conversation, do you see the role of transport in increasing and decreasing the price of goods? Please discuss them with your friends. Did you get the answer? Good. Let us see together. When the transport cost increases, the production cost also increases. The transport cost is part of the production cost. 
let us continue our discussion. The other part of physical distribution function is storage. Storage or warehouse is the place of keeping products until the customers or the producers want them. The term storage and warehouse is used sometimes interchangeably. However, they are different. Warehouse is used as a temporary custody for finished products. But storage is a place for keeping production inventory at perfect state until required for production. This function is especially important for perishable products such as fruits and vegetables. Look at this picture. This is storage. And this one is a warehouse. There are two functions of storage operations. The first one is to equalize the seasonal production to the pattern of demand. The other one is to keep the marketing system operating. The last major marketing function is facilitating function. Facilitating function is used to facilitate the marketing function through exchange and physical distribution function. This function includes financing, standardizing and grading, risk-taking, and gathering market information. Let us see the different types of facilitating function one by one. The first one of facilitating function is financing. Financing is necessary in marketing for production of goods and services. It helps at all stages of marketing function. Financing is important for the arrangement of adequate finance for purchasing of raw material, semi-finished product, for transportation and storage, and other related expenses. The second part of facilitating function is standardizing and grading. Standardizing and grading will be made with the name of trademark of producer or company. Standardization of each product should be determined on the basis of quality, size, type of colors, etc. Standardization refers to the process of setting up basic measures or standards to which the products must conform and taking steps to ensure that the goods produced actually adhere to these standards. Standards reflect desirable features of a product in terms of its design, weight, color, etc. Grading is the process of sorting individual units of a product into well-defined classes or grades of quality. The goods are graded or sorted out into different loads in accordance with the specified standards. Here we see the process of standardization and grading. For instance, the first product is different from the second in size, color, and quality. In the same token, the second one is different from the third one in color, size, and quality. This is an indication of standardizing of things in magnitude and significance. From the example, we can easily see grading classifies products by size, shape, quality, and types of colors. The third part of facilitating function is risk-taking. Risk-taking is the possibility of loss. Business firms or entrepreneurs should take various risks in the course of marketing. 
the owners properly anticipate the business uncertainty, identify the nature or causes of risks, and adopt preventive measure accordingly. Risk includes theft, cheating, war, flood, earthquake, defective product, and misleading advertisement. Students, the last part of facilitating function is gathering market information. Gathering market information includes gathering data from the market and interpreting the information to use for wise management decision such as price, product, promotion, and distribution. Now it is time for group activities. Please form a group of five students for this exercise. Discuss about the major marketing functions that apply to any market in your locality that are necessary to satisfy needs and wants of customers. Did you get the answer? Good. Let's do the activity together. The major marketing functions are buying, selling, storage, transportation, financing, standardizing and grading, risk taking, gathering marketing information. Students, in today's program, we've discussed the importance of major marketing function. These functions include exchange function, physical distribution function, and facilitating function. In our next session, we will discuss the product life cycle. Now we came to the end of today's lesson. Until next time, Thank you, teacher. Thank you, students. Goodbye.